What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to talk more about PvP and the changes coming and if said changes will be efficient enough to revive what's left of this side of the game. Now by all means I do not class myself as a hardcore PvP player like a lot of other content creators do. I class myself as an average PvP player who by all means does not know it all. What I do know is though is what's needed to make this work and in this video we're going to talk about said points of the crucible. Let's first check out what was said in the update last night regarding PvP. Okay so they state the following, we want to give players new reasons to play, more variety and balance improvements. Spring will bring a number of exciting and long awaited features to the crucible. For those wondering, spring I believe is between the end of March till the end of May in the northern hemisphere so yes. They speak of crucible ranks. Beginning with season 3 we will introduce crucible ranks. There will be two different ranks for players to pursue. Valor, a progression rank that goes up as you complete matches. Winning helps you move up faster but there are no loss penalties. And Glory, a progression rank that goes up when you win and down when you lose. Performance is how you move up here. So a ranking system, this is something that should have been in the game from the get go. It was a major feature missing from the first game. And it was one of the main things PvP players wanted for Destiny 2. It's good to see it's being added but I feel it might be a little too late for some people and I'll explain that later. Now me personally I love this idea and it's one I've looked forward to for years so to say. I do enjoy playing PvP. There is just no reason to play PvP. A rank to chase though for me is something minimal but something so many love to do and that's what we are getting so I look forward to it. They have also confirmed with images of private matches. Although it won't make any impact on public PvP it's still a feature we've wanted from the get go. I love the addition in Destiny 1. Uh, me and my pal spent more time in private matches than we did in actual public PvP. So yes I'm happy it's returning. They also go on to say that they are bringing back 6v6 PvP in addition to the 4v4 game modes they have. This again is something I feel is definitely needed. Also Mayhem is uh, spoke of. This in my opinion should be a permanent playlist. End of. But they state it will return as a limited time event during season 3 and going forward. I do suppose this is better than nothing though. Additional fixes they speak of, they are making changes to make quitting less common and behind the scenes security to help improve the overall crucible experience. So there are a few things they are working towards but is that enough? For me it certainly is at this point. I seriously am looking forward to seeing and playing 6v6 ranked PvP play, I really am. But after reading the update last night and heading onto Twitter to check out what other people thought of this update, 95% of the old school PvP players uh, were not happy with the update. Most spoke of changes needed to the sandbox to make the feel of PvP a lot more fast paced. I can understand this logic as PvP before v 4 does feel slow most of the time. You spend most of your time running around a massive map looking for someone to kill, then all of a sudden you'll walk around a corner and see four bastards pointing their guns at you. And that's the end of that. These hardcore PvP players feel the counter to this slow paced camping mess is a faster time to kill and mobility buffs to move faster. Again I can understand this, especially the faster time to kill aspect. PvP in the terms of mayhem where it's all crazy and you die every 5 seconds is still fun because you can also kill somebody that fast. It's also very quick pace because abilities recharge so much quicker, people don't feel they need to sit back and group up. And all of this, the fun, the pace, the excitement, the enjoyment is all missing from standard PvP. Even when the Prometheus lens was rampant and everyone was using it, it kind of felt refreshing to be a part of. People running around all crazy capable of killing you in under a second, you doing the same. It was fun. It was crazy. We loved it. That's because it had a fast time to kill and again it made of less sitting back and camping and people actually were running around. I mean obviously still got the odd team sitting back because that's the only way they know how to play the game. But for the most part I saw people running around and it was great. And all of this comes down to a faster time to kill and the game being more of a fast pace. Now reading the update I actually believe this is the way Bungie are trying to push the game. They just as we know it work really slow. I can understand they don't want to drop a major update which completely changes PvP from what it is now. As doing that trust me people will cause more problems than anything else. So them introducing small changes here and there to work towards a better end goal is the right way of going about it. 
Adding 636 will change many things about PvP. It will make it feel a lot more fast paced for sure. The more people on your team and the enemy team, the more likely the team will split up. Team shotting in Destiny 2 is a major issue. Not for everyone, but for most. Team shooting is happening in my opinion because there are only 4 players on a team. In Destiny 1, many many people within PvP ran around in doubles. But it wasn't an issue because 3 groups of 2 are easier to counter than one group of four. In Destiny 2 there are only four players on a team. You find comfort in grouping up because it feels a bit more competitive. You die, you respawn, you see a teammate, you run and follow. Everyone thinks this way and it's why everyone sticks together. And it also makes sense to play this way as well because maps are so big you're better off grouping together when there's less people on a team. But adding players to each team changes this in my opinion. I actually look forward to a 6v6 making a return. I think the change will add to PvP and it will be great. The faster time to kill aspect might be coming also though. They said this, weapon and ability balance pass, sandbox adjustments based on player feedback and data from the live team. The sandbox team will share specific changes as we lead up to season 3. I mean it's no guarantee but if they state they are making changes based on player feedback, surely something has to be mentioned about a faster time to kill within PvP. But don't get your hopes up people, seriously don't. But how do you feel about this? Do you think it's too little too late? Do you think what's coming to PvP might revive it? Let me know what you want to see down below. They also mentioned about adding additional playlists to the game, e.g. Rumble. Well that was pretty obvious. Me, I'm not really a big fan of Rumble but seeing so many people miss it from the first game, I'm glad for you guys it's making a return. They also mentioned about addressing solo versus fire team matching. Again this is another issue I hate. I play solo a lot of the time and coming up against teams of 4 is annoying as hell. So yes, I welcome changes to help my case here, I really do. And people, that's basically it what's mentioned on changes being brought to PvP over the coming months. In my opinion, it definitely will improve things 100%, but is it enough for the hardcore players of PvP? I ain't sure. Let me know what you think about this down below within that comment section. The changes coming to PvP are definitely enough for me, an average player, playing PvP, but I can't make a statement on behalf of hardcore players, as I don't class myself as one. But if you are one, let me know what you think about this down below. But guys, thanks for stopping by as always. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong.